Hi, I'm Mitch Mosier. I'm from Atkins, Iowa. I'm a senior on the baseball team. What made me choose UIU? Probably the class in the class sizes. Uh, having two to three classes at a time is really nice because you get to focus on you know, just a couple things at a time rather than four or five classes. And the faculty, they work really well with uh, student athletes being on the road a lot. Um, they're really understanding of that kind of stuff. So, How did I start playing baseball? Uh, it was a long time ago. My uh, mom's side of the family is big into baseball. They all played uh, throughout high school and I had one uncle who played in college and then my dad played in college. So just being around the family, um, they're big Cubs fans so they always watch the Cubs games and we always played pickup games at my grandma's so just kind of starting you know with the family and then getting started through t-ball and coach pitch and then travel baseball so if I had to play any other sport what would it be and why um, I don't know I'd probably choose golf I enjoy golfing um, would it be any good no uh, we go out from time to time and I have my moments where I'm good but I have a lot more moments where I'm bad so uh, what sort of rituals do I have before practice or games? Um, I'm not really too superstitious about things. Uh, one thing I do is I tape my stirrups at the top so they don't fall down. And I do my right leg before my left leg. Um, other than that, I don't really have anything. My favorite athletic memory in my career at Upper Iowa would probably be just going out with the guys you know, every weekend and just competing. Um, we have a pretty close-knit team pretty close bond so I would just say you know competing with Luis and Colt Jansen for three years um, playing alongside those guys and everyone else on the team is just you know it's fun to go out there and everyone's got the same goal in mind what people don't know most about me would probably be when I was two years old I had hernia surgery the most important thing baseball has taught me never take anything for granted um, anything can be taken away from me at any time like last year I had uh, an injury that took me away from playing with the seniors for the last time. I didn't get to share that moment with them. Uh, so just, I mean, you got to play every play, every at bat, like it's your last. Uh, so the camaraderie I've built with my teammates, I mean, it's a great one. Um, you know, we got a lot of good dudes on the team. Um, everyone's, you know, pushing in the same direction. Everyone's willing to fight for each other. Um, and just knowing that, you know, they have my back and that they know I have theirs. Is just something that you know not everyone gets to experience. So, um, so the experience I had coming back from my injury from last year. I mean, it was a long one. Obviously, I was out uh, for eight weeks after surgery. I was in a splint, and then for the next whatever three months, it was kind of just you know letting it heal, and then uh, getting back into throwing and hitting was just kind of frustrating. Uh, first time I went to throw, it just the ball didn't go where I wanted it to. First time I went to hit, just nothing felt right. So it was, I mean, it was frustrating. It was a long process, but um, I mean, I'd like to say I'm back to where I was before, but that's not the same. Uh, so it's just kind of frustrating knowing that you're not the same as you were before. But um, just, I, I mean, all in all, it's just great to be back, you know, with the team and uh, to compete with the guys again. Uh, the thing I'll miss most about Upper Iowa baseball, probably the guys on the team. Um, I mean, there's going to be some that you keep in touch with, and there's going to be some that you just kind of lose contact with. And uh, so I'm going to miss the guys the most, you know, going out every afternoon and practicing with them and hanging out with them after practice and going on road trips with them. And uh, just, I mean, my biggest one is probably Luis. I don't really know where he's going to go after this, that kind of thing. So I, I want to keep in touch with him. He's a great guy, but just don't know where he's going to go down the road. So. Yeah, so uh, being a dual position guy playing second base and pitching, um, there's kind of some individualized time where, like, you know, obviously pitchers aren't with position players all the time, so I kind of get split up there. Um, but when we do, like, individual workouts and stuff, I try to go with the pitchers as much as possible, keep my arm in shape. But obviously, I mean, only being, you know, a relief guy every once in a while, it's more important to me to go with position guys and get my swings in and uh, get ground balls and stuff. But it's also important to keep your arm in shape and stay active on the mound as well. The most important thing that Upper Iowa has taught me, I would say probably is that you can compete at any level, uh, no matter what it is, you know, with a job, academics, athletics. Um, you just have to believe in yourself and know that you can do it. So.